Good morning guys, Eric and I are about to leave to go do some Christmas shopping, which this is the first day we're doing any Christmas shopping and like Christmas is not that far away. But Eric just graduated from college and so we've just been so busy and the house is kind of a mess, but we really need to do Christmas shopping because two of our Christmases we're doing before Christmas too. So we don't have very much time. And last night we went on Amazon and got pretty much everything we could on there. So that'll be shipped, but there's some stuff that we need to go get in the store. So we're gonna go to some places and get as much stuff as we can today. And then we'll probably end up getting some stuff last minute too, but it should be a fun day. Maddie, what did you ask Santa for? A new bone? Toothbrush. <laughs> Toothbrush, oh yeah. You couldn't even have a bone because your teeth are all falling out. We decided to come eat first because we were starving. So we came to Cadoba and we got our regular three cheese nachos and Eric's is like a mountain. I've never, it's never been this big. Yeah, it's fine with us though. We're on our way into our next stop. How was your lunch? It was good. Normally I, normally I overstuff myself there and I'm, I don't think I did today so I'm happy. Me too. I always wanted a lava lamp growing up and I never had one. Now it's too late. Would you let me put a lava lamp in our room? <laughs> One store down, a lot to go. You're a fun person to Christmas shop with though. Well, right now I am, but a couple stores down the road I might not be so fun. <laughs> That's true. I think this is the latest I've ever started my Christmas shopping since I got married. But we kind of have an idea at least of what we're getting everyone. Yeah. Well, some people we don't really know what we're getting them yet, but we at least know what we're looking for in most cases. Yeah, but did we even bring our list of stuff that we wrote down? No, but <laughs> I remember a lot of it. Yeah. So anyway, it's just been such a busy year this year around Christmas with the graduation and everything. We just haven't had a chance to start our shopping, but I'm having fun. We've only been to one store so far, so we found what we wanted though. We'll be going to Best Buy later. I'm gonna get a phone case for my new phone. Oh which yeah. I'm excited about. Eric got a Google Pixel 3, but he hasn't been able to use it yet because he needs a SIM card, right? Yeah. I bought it over Black Friday because they were the Google store, they were having good deals on it, and I knew I was gonna be getting the phone, so I figured I might as well buy it now and get a better deal on it and rather than wait till I actually need it and spend more money. Yeah. So. Okay, we're gonna do a little Christmas template. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be Kristen John's Christmas template that she made. And I already answered all these on my Instagram story, but they did it in their Christmas vlog too, and I thought it was cute. So, star on top or angel on top? Star. Same. Hot cocoa or apple cider? Hot cocoa. I would be both. Wait, you can't pick both. Well, I can't choose between those. No, you've got it to It depends. Pick like, some days I might not want chocolate, and I might want apple cider. It's not I, that I don't like apple cider, but typically I would choose hot cocoa. Yeah. Okay, snowy day or sunny day for Christmas? I mean, if it's actually Christmas day, I have to choose snowy day. Yeah, I agree. Well, I chose sunny day on here, but... I don't think I was thinking about Christmas Day. Okay, Michael Buble or Mariah Carey? Michael Buble. <laughs> yeah, I figured you like wouldn't care on that. Um, Silent Night or Oh Holy Night? Oh Holy Night. I would be both. Um, oh, and I would be Michael Buble. Although I do like Mariah Carey's Christmas what? songs. You can't, that defeats the purpose of, what are these called? A template. It defeats the purpose. Well, You're giving a choice for a purpose, not to choose both. Sometimes you can't choose. <laughs> or I can't. Gingerbread or sugar cookie? Um, I'm only going to choose sugar cookie because I don't remember the last time I've had gingerbread. Yeah, I would be so. sugar cookie either way. Um, real tree or fake tree? Fake. Would you ever want to go get a real tree, like just for a year? To be honest, no. I feel like it would be stressful, like because yeah, I'm always wondering, like when I'm away from the house, I'm always wondering if it's okay. Yeah, I think like the whole going and picking out the tree as a family is a really cute idea and stuff, but I don't think I would ever want to have a real tree. Okay, white lights or multicolored lights? 
Um, for me, I would probably say multicolored lights. Yeah. That's not to say I don't like white lights, though. Yeah, me too. Giving or receiving? Oh, that's like a setup question. <laughs> that's a setup question right Both? there. <laughs> no, I really do like getting stuff for people. I'm not yeah. trying to be like all. I will say. Trying to make myself look nice, but. Eric loves giving gifts to people, like me or family members or whatever. And whenever we're out at stores or something, if he sees something that his family might like, someone in his family, he's like, oh, we should get this. Like, he loves giving gifts to people. We're at our next stop Dick's Sporting Goods, one of our favorite stores. Also, this is one of my favorite Christmas songs. Colby Kelly's Christmas album is the best. We're at our next stop. We left Dick's with nothing. So Dick's and the bookstore didn't have what I needed, so I'll probably just order it online. Or actually, what I needed at Dick's, I'm gonna look at TJ Maxx instead. Hopefully they'll have something cheaper. Next stop is Best Buy, so Eric can get his phone SIM card, hopefully, and his case. Eric's all excited because they're selling old PlayStations, right? Is that what it is? Yeah, it's like the original, the classic PlayStation. Yeah, I wouldn't have even known what it is. We never played video games. <laughs> Eric is now a Google Pixel 3 user, even though he's only made one phone call on it to me to make sure the SIM card worked. But they didn't have any good cases. All they had was the Google ones, and they're made out of cloth, which is kind of weird. So he didn't want to get those. We're at one of our last stops of the day, TJ Maxx, which is one of the best stores that has ever been. Now Eric's just glued to his phone. <laughs> of course, TJ Maxx did not disappoint. They always have what I need, but they didn't have a phone case for Eric. Well, they don't have what I need, so I think TJ Maxx does disappoint. Well, it didn't disappoint me, and I warned you ahead of time that they probably wouldn't have one for a Pixel 3, but you got your hopes up so high, now you can't bring them back down. Next up is Target. Hopefully our last stop, but I decided to put in a ponytail because I was literally a big ball of static. Are you glad we're almost done for the day? Yeah, I'm ready to be done. He's been a good shopper today. Usually he like, about like two stores in, he just stops talking completely and like if I ask him anything, he's like, I don't know. But he's actually been like with it today. Target was successful, but they didn't have a phone case either for a Pixel. So I think he's gonna look on Amazon. Last stop of the day. This is where I get all my gift bags and stuff like that because they have the best ones for the cheapest. Dollar Tree had pretty much everything we needed. Plus, Eric picked out a treat because he was good while we shopped today. <laughs> he didn't complain I once. I got it whether or not I was good. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> So we're headed home now. It was a successful day. There's still stuff we need to get, but for the most part, we got a lot of stuff that we needed, plus everything we ordered last night. We're, I would say we're pretty close to done shopping. Kara trying to understand this recipe. <laughs> it's so confusing. <laughs> She's been staring at the screen for like three minutes. It, it's like a, how many steps were there? 12 steps to these cookies? Oh, sorry, I just cut your head off. Oh, it's okay. But literally every time I make <coughs> every time I make these, it takes me forever to read the recipe because it's like so confusing. So I think after I make them this year, I'm gonna write it in my own words or whatever and put it in my recipe book because this is ridiculous. Plagiarism. Yeah, and then I'll sell it. <laughs> my mom and I have made these for like I don't know a long time, like quite a few years now. It's like our tradition, but I've never made them in my own house. I always make them at my mom's house with her, so it's kind of sad. But Eric's helping me, so it's not sad. Yes, I put the sugar and the salt and the butter and the shortening in there. So basically, I've made these cookies so far. Guys, Kara just cut her finger and it got all over the dough. We're gonna have to start over. Just kidding. <laughs> it's food coloring. Now we're just mixing the red and the green food coloring into different parts of the dough for the wreaths and candy canes. This is the fun part. Actually, it's kind of not the fun part because it literally takes forever to get this mixed into this dough, but it looks pretty when it's done.
Okay, the dough has been chilling in the fridge for 15 minutes now because it had to get firm so that we can roll it out and make little candy canes and wreaths. Eric keeps eating Oreos. <laughs> Wait, these are not any Oreos. Yuck. <laughs> no. I love lemon cookies like this and I have not had them in literally years. And we were in the cookie aisle at our grocery store and I told Tara I wanted some lemon cookies. So I found like the generic ones. They're, you know, the huge massive packs of cookies and they're like a dollar. A dollar? So I picked it up and then I looked right over and I saw the Oreo section and these were sitting right there. I didn't even know Oreo made these. So yeah, it's a good day. He's in been our house. loving them. So I'm pooped and I just want to go to bed, but I still have to finish these cookies. Eric's like looking at the clock so hard. 8.30. I know, I'm so tired and it's because I've eaten so bad the past couple days. I've literally eaten so bad. Next batch is coming out of the oven. Every batch looks so much better than the one before. I forgot how stressful these were to make. They're really hard, honestly. They're simple, but they're hard at the same time because like they break. But anyway, I am so tired. I want to go to bed. Um, in the meantime of baking my 40 cookies, so my best friend's boyfriend is proposing to her tomorrow and she kind of has an idea, but she doesn't know for sure and I'm helping set everything up tomorrow and he's gonna do it like pretty big. So, he just dropped off these balloons. They are huge. They say marry me and they're light pink. They're so pretty, but they're literally taking up like half of our living room rug. Like that's how big they are compared to Eric. <laughs> so I don't know how they're gonna fit in the car, but I'm gonna get him in there somehow. He had just been here dropping these off and we were talking about how she kind of has an idea and stuff. And then like two minutes after he leaves, I get a text from her and she's like, she has all these ideas about what's going on. So thankfully it's happening tomorrow. So we don't have to keep the secret that much longer, but I'm going crazy. Cause I don't know what to, I don't know what to respond to her. Like, I'm basically just lying to her, but it's all for a good reason. Hi guys, it's been a couple days since I last vlogged, but I'm at my house right now, Eric's at work, and my sister Julie is here, and she's gonna spend the night with me. But we're about to wrap a bunch of Christmas presents because we've done quite a bit of Christmas shopping lately, but I haven't wrapped anything yet. There's nothing under the tree. We had a big old section of lights go out on the bottom, but we're gonna wrap some presents and we're watching Home Alone right now, which I haven't seen yet this year, but it's one of my favorite Christmas movies ever. So I think I'm gonna do a little time lapse of us wrapping presents. We're supposed to be wrapping presents, but we're watching funny Ellen videos instead. <laughs> If you guys haven't seen the one about the guy doing gift wrapping in the store, you need to go watch it, it's hilarious. So my camera died like halfway through gift wrapping, but we just finished everything up that we have so far and I'm gonna put them under the tree so we'll finally have presents under the tree 10 days before Christmas, which I guess that's better than some people do, but I feel like I've got a late start on it this year. We finished watching Home Alone and now I put on this fireplace thing on Netflix with Christmas music, it's so relaxing. Also, that is my hibiscus plant. We still have this one and it's doing great. But this one, this was like the yellow flowers with the red in the middle, is dying and it's because it got a disease and we knew it got the disease and we had the right stuff to give it but we didn't have a spray bottle to spray it on so we had to wait to get a spray bottle and we went to the store and they didn't have one and so we had to wait like a whole week because there was just so much other stuff going on. So we sprayed it with stuff and hopefully it comes back to life. There's still a little bit of green which is a good sign like right there. <laughs> So I'm gonna put these under the tree and then we'll be done for the night.
I'm gonna be done with this for the night. That kind of took a long time and we didn't even get that much stuff wrapped. We wrapped everything I had, but it just wasn't really that much stuff. But we we're watching a movie, watching Ellen videos, talking and stuff. So we didn't get that much done for the amount of time it took. So in two days, I'm going to get my nails done for Christmas. And I think that's the last thing I'll put in this vlog. I basically just wanted to combine all my like Christmas preparations, I guess, into one video because I just don't have time to put up another one, um, like splitting all this stuff up. So I decided to do one Christmas like preparation video and just add in everything together, which I like it that way, I think. So today's Saturday, a week from today, next Saturday, we'll be in Minnesota for our Minnesota Christmas trip, which we do almost every year. And last year was, I think, the first year that I haven't gone with my family because we stayed here and did Christmas on Christmas Day with Eric's family. So this year we're doing his family Christmas on Friday, which is like the 21st, I think. And then my family Christmas that Saturday in Minnesota. And then that's with extended family. And then Christmas Day, we'll come back here and be home probably by the afternoon. So it's gonna be a really fun week. I'm really excited and I hope you guys are liking this yes. vlog so far. Hi guys, I'm picking up my mom right now and we are going to get our nails done together for Christmas because we're leaving to go on a trip in a few days and we wanted to get our nails done. So we made our appointment for the same day. I don't really know what I'm getting yet and I don't think she really does either, but I'm excited because I haven't had them done since like June, I think, which has been a long time. <laughs> we just got back to my mom's house from getting our nails done and I kind of tried to show them when we were leaving the salon but I don't think it showed that well but I got teal with glitter so it's teal with teal glitter and no matter what color I go into the salon wanting to get I always end up coming out with teal and glitter because I love it so much and she did a really good job my mom got red with gold glitter for Christmas do you like them I love them. Yeah, they're so pretty. She never gets her nails done. This was her first no chip manicure, actually. So my mom is having a little, well, my parents are having a little Christmas party tonight with some people from church. So I'm just over here helping her set things up. And right now I'm putting Hershey Kisses on this little wooden tree. Didn't grandpa make this? Yep. My grandpa made this little tree and basically you can like spread out these things and then you just set whatever you want, but my family always puts Hershey Kisses on it. This is the finished product of the Hershey Kiss tree. It's so cute. Hey guys, so by the time you're seeing this, Christmas is already over, so I hope you all had an amazing Christmas. We definitely did, and I still have one more Christmas video to put up after this, so hopefully that doesn't take too long because it's already almost January. But if you guys have any video requests for the new year, let me know in the comments, and I'd love to do some videos that you would want to see, and I'll see you guys next week with a new video. Bye, guys. Yay!